I've got two contenders for the best antivirus pitted against one another in this Bitdefender versus Malwarebytes comparison. If you're struggling to decide which one suits your needs better, then keep on watching because I'm going to give you an expert review and we'll have my winner at the end of this. Hi, my name's Gavin. To see which provider is better at what, I will compare them in categories such as features, protection, performance and pricing. But before I begin, I will share our exclusive discount for both of these premium antiviruses. To get it, simply click on a link in the description. Okay, firstly, let's compare Bitdefender Antivirus versus Malwarebytes Anti-Malware Prevention and their basic plans. Malwarebytes gives you all the essentials you would want from an antivirus, but Bitdefender offers even more. It has a social network protection that helps to avoid malicious links and scams spreading through social media messages. As a huge VPN fan, you can only imagine how pumped I was to find out that Bitdefender includes a VPN even in their basic plan. But, oh boy, my excitement took a hit when I learned about the 200 meg cap on their VPN. Seriously? Is this their way of trying to keep me binge watching my favorite TV shows? Don't you dare. While Malwarebytes can offer a VPN with their basic plan, what a disappointment, it still works well against ransomware and spyware and includes real-time protection. It does get better with their premium plan. For one, there's the real-time protection tool, which works tirelessly all the time to catch the intruders. It also comes with protection against brute force attacks to identify suspicious connections via remote devices. With Malwarebytes Premium Plus subscription, there's also a VPN that has servers in 30 different locations. That's not bad for just a feature in an antivirus, but if compared to premium VPNs, it's still a bit meh. In addition, it offers a browser extension that incorporates an ad blocker, which can easily prevent most pop-up ads, trackers, scams, and potentially unwanted programs, making it quite convenient. Meanwhile, if we take a look at Bitdefender Antivirus, besides having a security fortress, it also provides useful everyday features. For instance, there's a file shredder tool to get rid of sensitive digital files, as well as this neat profiles feature where you can pick a custom profile according to your needs. This one is especially useful for gamers to avoid unnecessary interruptions and slowdowns. And if you decide to get their premium plan, there is even more stuff. Microphone and webcam protection, parental controls, as well as anti-theft and anti-spam technology. So, overall, when it comes to Malwarebytes versus Bitdefender Total Security Features comparison, I have to say that Bitdefender wins this one. Whether I compare the basic or premium plans, it just has more to offer and less is not more in this case. Having features is great, but any best antivirus should be about protection first. Now, not to base it on my opinion alone, I've looked into test results conducted and published by independent testing labs. AV Test is an independent organization that evaluates and rates antivirus. It also compares how providers' protection works against zero-day malware attacks, which includes web and email threats too. In their latest research, Bitdefender scored a perfect six out of six for protection, while Malwarebytes got 5.5. Protection reflects the results of tests involving protection against malware and other attacks. AV Comparatives is an Austrian independent organization that tests and assesses antivirus software, and that found that Bitdefender blocks 99.6% of threats as of September 2023. Unfortunately, Malwarebytes wasn't included in the latest testing, but in the testing from November 2022, it scored 99%, while Bitdefender was nearly perfect again with 99.7%. While Bitdefender slightly edged Malwarebytes in the independent tests, both did manage to prove their worth, but what scanning options can they offer? With Bitdefender, it's rather simple. It has the standard quick, full, and custom scan options. Now, looking at Malwarebytes options, to be honest, it's a little bit confusing. They have a threat scan, which is called scan. In my testing, it didn't detect any malware and scanned only a limited number of files. On the other hand, the custom scan can function as a comprehensive tool covering the entire device and successfully identify malware. Apart from that, there's also an option to manually select which files or apps you want to check for malicious components. Both antivirus suites give flexible scanning methods Bitdefender also includes a vulnerability assessment. It's designed to scan the operating system for outdated and vulnerable software 
unsafe system settings and missing window security patches. So it truly gives the all round safety for your device. While the independent test results are trustworthy, I've done my own testing as I wanted to see the performance for myself. As per usual, I planted 10 malicious files on my system and I've run the full scan with both antivirus providers on my Windows PC. Malware Bytes completed the scan in nearly 28 minutes. During the scan at times, my CPU usage was at 100%, which is far from ideal, but a little bit more worrisome is the fact that it only caught five out of the 10 files that I've planted. Well, I guess you can be 50% safe with Malwarebyte. Yay. But let's see how Bitdefender compares. The full scan was completed in over 24 minutes and it caught eight out of 10 malicious files that I've planted. While that's not perfect, it's a much better result. In addition, CPU usage peaked at 82% during the scan, which is significantly better than Malwarebytes results. After getting such results, I've got to give Bitdefender an edge over Malwarebytes, which used more of my system power, took longer to complete the scan, and caught less planted malware than Bitdefender. Okay, since I mentioned some differences between the plans, let's talk about their value and pricing. Both providers have multiple subscription options that you can choose based on what you want from an antivirus. By the way, to get any of these plans at the lowest price possible, don't forget to check out our exclusive deals that you can get from the links in the description. All right, first let's take a look at Bitdefender subscription options. It has a free plan, which is not a bad idea for absolute beginners to test out. It protects one device and has no additional features, so in the long run, you will probably want to switch to one of the premium plans. So, what are the options? Even the cheapest Bitdefender plan covers all the necessary security tools for Windows. If you want to protect your other devices, I suggest going for the Bitdefender Total Security Plan, which also adds a one-click device optimizer and anti-theft tools. Malwarebytes has a free antivirus version too, but I don't recommend it as a long-term solution as it can only remove threats that have already infiltrated your device. Besides, if you want any of the extra features, you will have to go with one of the premium plans. The only real difference here is how many devices you want to protect. The standard premium plan protects a single device. So if you want to protect up to five devices, you'll have to opt for the premium plus plan. So overall, whether you decide to test out the free plan or go for a premium one, Bitdefender is a better option. Their free plan has more to offer and their premium plans are cheaper than Malwarebytes counterparts. Overall, both of these providers are trustworthy and reliable antivirus solutions, but at the beginning of this video, I did promise to have a winner in this Malwarebytes versus Bitdefender comparison. As you might have guessed by now, I have to give this one to Bitdefender. Not only is the pricing lower, but the features list is also a lot longer for what you get for your money. And the most important thing is, it got better results from auditors for protection, which also my testing confirmed. Let me know in the comments down there which best antivirus option you picked and why, and I will see you guys soon.